year's session of the Tennessee General Assembly dismisses at the end of this week. And tonight, the GOP supermajority shows zero interest in passing any kind of gun control legislation, despite encouragement from the top Republican in the state, Governor Bill Lee, to do so. Action News 5's Joyce Peterson joins us live now with Republican response to the governor's request. Joyce. Yeah, Joe, Governor Lee made a last minute plea today backing legislation that would toughen the state's order of protection law, a law that removes guns from the hands of those who may do harm to themselves or to others. He asked state lawmakers to reach across the aisle and find compromise. Late this evening, Tennessee's GOP gave the governor its answer. Second Amendment protecting members. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee Wednesday unveiled his gun control proposal, one he says will keep guns out of the hands of dangerous people without violating the Second Amendment. I'm proposing that we improve our state's law so that it protects more Tennesseans and reaches more individuals who are struggling and in need of mental health support. There's broad agreement that this is the right approach. It should be that simple. But sadly, it's not. Lee's proposal allows law enforcement to petition the court for a temporary mental health order of protection for someone who poses a substantial threat by having access to guns or ammo. That person must be notified and allowed to appear before the court with an attorney. The court may issue an order of protection for up to 180 days. During that time, the person would not be able to possess or buy any guns or ammunition. In a statement, the Tennessee Firearms Association said it opposed is what it called the governor's red flag proposal because the proposed amendment does not indicate which bills are being amended, who the sponsors are, when the bill will be heard in committee, or give anyone outside of government opportunity to comment. It is the typical move of a tyrant. Response from the GOP, any red flag law is a non-starter for House Republicans. Meantime, Senate Minority Leader Ramesh Akberry and Senator London Lamar, both from Memphis, called for a vote on the governor's proposal. Tennessee students and families, they say, are desperate for solutions to stop gun violence, and they deserve a public debate and vote before this session ends. Governor Lee said his proposal is not a red flag law, and in fact, he said that term is, quote, a toxic political label meant to draw lines in the sand so nothing gets done. Time is running out for Tennessee lawmakers. This year's legislative session is expected to wrap up early ending this week. However, Governor Lee could always call a special session specifically for this issue later this year. Reporting live in Memphis tonight, I'm Joyce Peterson. Joe, back to you. Thank you.